What's up, gang, and welcome back to Film Director X. And today we are doing Espa. Espa? Espa? Let's see. <clears throat> Espa is a South Korean girl group formed by SM Entertainment. SM, one of the big three or big four companies, so they're probably super popular already. The group consists of Karina, Giselle, Winter, and Ning Ning. Those are uh, cool names they picked out. Okay, let's run the intro. My name's Paul Leach, and I'm a writer-director in Los Angeles. I've been interviewed by such publications as The Huffington Post and the New York Council on Cultural Affairs. I've worked with Emmy winners and Oscar winners, and the feature film that I directed went to Cannes. In this series, we break down footage from the point of view of a film director, and we will stop often to look at shots. If you have not seen this video or this footage before, please go watch the whole thing all the way through, because again, we stop all the time, and then come back here and break down the footage together with us. Okay, gang, again, if you have not seen this video, please go watch the video first, and then come back here as we break it down together, because we'll be stopping a lot to talk about the shots. So let's check out Espa Black Mamba. Maybe it's about Kobe Bryant. And action. Wow, this is brightly colored. They're doing a lot of effects already, layers of effects. I think this is probably a, maybe a green screen behind them, plus they're layering effects on top of them. Hmm. <clears throat> like that background. Good, good edit. So there's four of them. Guys, I think I've told you before, I love it when people edit to the beat. So good, check it out. So I go like this, or do I go like this? There we go. See those two? Let me do it one more time. Good effects. Okay, so something they're establishing here early is they're doing a lot of kind of cutesy layers of effects like on top of it. So they're layering on top of the video these kind of cartoony effects. Really nice, man, super bright. Cool, a lot of camera movement like we talked about before. If you're the first time, first time seeing a video on my channel, we talk about the directing aspect. So what they do is they're doing a lot of camera movement, a lot of fast cuts to really create that energy. Good job, let's see where they go with this. Because what you always want is you want to start somewhere, then you want to keep on going, progressing somewhere else. These are cool effects. Like this girl's voice. I, I really like these kind of strong, powerful vocals. Sounds great. <clears throat> Totally dig it. What they did here, which I really, really like, and I think I've talked about this before, is that when you really want to connect with someone in directing, you do close-ups. And so what you want to do is when someone's doing their part, at least give them one close-up so you as an audience can really connect with them. Check it out. Close-up. Pushing in that sort of a mid-close. Close-up right there. Great. Ah. This is great. Okay, I talked about this before. A lot of music videos, what happens is they're very front facing, so everything is kind of like you work in the front of the camera, whether it's kind of you push in, you tilt a little bit, do Dutch angles. What is not done very much in these kind of music videos, they don't really kind of work around the stage like this, but this one they did, which is really cool. I think it really accented the choreography well because they stuck their leg out, they kind of showed that, then they went back the other way. Looks like they're kind of doing a snake thing with the choreography, which is the Black Mama. Check it out again. This is what makes this video a little bit unique, is the, just the work of the camera around the stage from this, you know, uh, horizontal space instead of just going in and out. I love it. It's so good. Great. I wish more videos would do that. Man, really sharp. <laughs> Love this editing, man. Holy cow. Yeah, just when they say that, hey, everything changes up. Cool. 
Did you guys notice kind of the God shot here? So again, if you first time watching my videos, so the God angle or the hero angle is where you're down low and you point up at somebody. What that makes is it makes someone look bigger than you. And so you do that to show kind of power. Um, in music videos, they don't really necessarily do it for that reason. They just kind of do it as a textural difference. But if you do film or TV, the God shot is to show someone who's very powerful. There's a snake. Man, these are so good. So what they're doing is just layers of effects. So you have in the background here, you have probably it's a green screen, which looks great. She's there in the foreground. They're just using these layers of things superimposed on top of her. It creates what we talk a lot about, which is depth. And you want to create depth ocularly in your visual field. It adds so much to something when you can create depth. Good job. Good use of just throwing in some really close-ups again, great. Because I think this is their first song, so if you really want to introduce a band, you really want to show a few close-ups of their face so you can really try to connect with them as an audience, good job. This background looks really good too. And here, what we talked about before is high contrast. Um, we talk about this a lot actually. The background is colored and they're wearing black, so again, they stand out, which you want to create a separation, which creates a depth, good job. I think this is the girl's voice who I like. This pre-chorus is great, I love it. This is a very catchy song. I like it already. So in the chorus, they do the same thing. Okay, Dreamcatcher. Great editing. Pfft. Whoever did this editing is awesome. Because a lot of times what we see is you seem kind of wonky editing. Um, some kind of like changes where they do cut between two mid shots. This editing is great. It's right on the beat. I love that. Check it out. Then they just drop. Boom. And if you notice here that her head even goes out of frame. So good. So her head goes out of frame. So we're expecting the drop. Right here. And then she drops and then everyone drops down. Good directing and editing. <clears throat> so what it does, it creates anticipation. <clears throat> so what they're doing is David Fincher does this thing, it's called a string of pearls. And what he does is he likes handing off shots between shots. So one shot hands off to another shot. And that idea kind of creates this sort of flow into things. Good job. You guys see the high shutter speed? I've talked about shutter speed before. Some of you who know what I'm talking about can see that. So you notice the textual differences between when everything's lit up like this and then everything's silhouetted. It's a good way to create extra texture in the same set. So in one way they're blasted with light and the next time there is no light and they're silhouettes. So you're creating, even though it's the same set, you're creating differences in texture. It almost feels different, like a different scene. And then they change to the wide shot. So it's a good way to contrast. So you do a mid shot here. You push into a mid shot, so it's lit up, and then you go immediately to a wide shot where everything's silhouetted. So instead of just going from this mid shot to a silhouette mid shot, you go from a uh, regular mid shot to a silhouetted wide shot. So you create two textual differences, one between the type of shot it is, and secondly, with the way the light is. Good job. Like this girl's voice. <laughs> Wait, what's going on here? Uh, 
So there's a, is that her reflection or is that someone else? Action. So let's go back. Good shot here. Check this out. These shots here, where you're looking at the reflection, you're focusing on the reflection rather than the person, very cinematic, great shot. And it's a close up. It's a good bridge. Here's my question. So they're adding a lot of like cartoon characters now. Um, are all the girls gonna be cartoon characters? Is that representing them or is that, I'm not really sure. Here's one thing with the directing, that if you are aspiring directors, that you need to visually communicate what's going on. So they did a really good job in terms of upping the ante. So you wanna continue, create more and more tension, which is you keep on adding elements so you don't get tired or fatigued or bored. So they're doing a really good job of adding elements. One question though is, is why is there that cartoon character there all of a sudden? I feel like there wasn't a good visual explanation of what's going on. I'm sure you guys out there could explain it to me. I'm not really sure. But if you're a director, it's your job to visually communicate your story. So I wish whoever this director was, they've done a great job so far. I wish that particular part, there would have been some sort of communication why that happened instead of just being so sudden and you're like, What's going on? Maybe he did, or she did. Maybe you guys can explain it to me. Really like it so far. Just that little bit of storytelling. I wish they would have been sort of some sort of bridge in the narrative to explain what's happening. That String of Pearls idea of handing something off. Oh, is that it? <laughs> I like the pixelation. These ads didn't keep on popping up here because then I don't get to see the end of things. Annoying. Okay. So gang, that was Aespa's, Aespa's Black Mamba and let me be honest, I thought it was great. I think it's a great debut by this group. They're with a huge company. They have 126 million views, dang. Well, it's SM Entertainment, so it's no surprise. I think they deserve those views though. One thing I noticed is, um, again, great editing. I love their layers, how they actually had those superimposed layers on the front, plus you know the layers in the back, they created great depth. They did a really good job with the sets that they had. I think all the girls were performed really, really well. It's a great group. I'm interested to see more from this group. Video was awesome. Song was very catchy. I really like catchy songs. I mean, who doesn't? So, good job, Espa. Look forward to seeing more of you guys. And for this episode, that's a wrap.